Many laser applications involve measuring beams that come out of an optical fiber. The fiber may be used for information delivery, such as in telecom applications, or perhaps for power delivery, such as in medical or industrial applications. In applications such as telecom, the powers are typically low, and usually the power is measured using photodiode-based sensors. In industrial applications, powers are typically much higher, often tens or hundreds of watts, but increasingly even in the kilowatt range. In all these cases, in order to be able to measure the beam's power or energy, the fiber from which the beam emerges must be suitably positioned in front of the sensor and held steady. The fibers themselves are terminated with standard fiber connectors that are used in various applications such as FC, SMA and others. Ophir sensors have optional accessories available to enable proper positioning of the fiber. Let's have a look. First of all, here you can see fiber adapters for the various standard connector types, SC, ST, FC, and SMA. It's worth noting that because there will be an air gap between the fiber output and the sensor's absorber surface, the polish type and facet angle don't matter. So for example, the FC adapter is also good for the FC subtypes, such as FC APC. Secondly, the fiber connector types are industry standard items, but the Ophir sensors are all different in their mechanical design. To enable using these fiber adapters with any relevant Ophir sensor, we have fiber adapter mounting brackets that are specific to a given Ophir sensor or sensor family, to its mechanical configuration. The fiber adapters are then connected to the specific mounting bracket. Here you can see one such mounting bracket. This one attaches to the front of a pyroelectric laser energy sensor. Any of the fiber adapters can then be screwed in place here. The mounting bracket is easily attached to the sensor by the user and comes with the necessary hardware. Some brackets enable connecting up to three fiber adapters in parallel. The brackets are designed to provide the appropriate distance between the fiber output and the sensor's absorber surface so that the beam size on the absorber is large enough to avoid damage threshold issues but at the same time small enough to fully fit into the sensor's aperture. This is discussed in more detail in a separate video, including when you might want to double check that. Some sensors don't need a mounting bracket. Their mechanical configuration is such that a fiber adapter can be attached directly. On our website and in our catalog, you can find clear details of the fiber adapters and of the mounting bracket you need, if any, to connect it to your particular sensor. For high power fiber lasers in the kilowatt range, the fiber adapters are a bit special. The fiber laser outputs a very high power and concentrated beam, and the fiber connector itself needs to be water cooled. Also, if any dust or foreign particle gets onto the fiber tip, it can cause significant damage to the fiber. Ophir offers QBH high power fiber adapters. These water-cooled adapters protect against foreign particles and also protect the user from backscattered laser light. There are two types, the QBHS, or short, for widely diverging beams, and the QBHL, or long, for not so widely diverging beams, each with appropriate distance from fiber to sensors absorber built in. Please feel free to contact us either directly or via your local Ophir representative or visit our website.